Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode, we started helping some of the good villagers here in the village of the Ox Clan. However, there's one sour character. He's standing right behind me. He's the auctioneer, and he ran an auction. Saruman the White. Yes, the White Wizard showed up, and he took one of our friends hostage to Isengard. And then the son, all by himself, has been taken under the care of the auctioneer to pay off his father's debts. And that's where we are, so let's continue along that storyline. Even the Ocluth have need of help on occasion. Saruman cheated me out of much money with his last auction. You cannot go against a wizard. Once he names his price, he pur the purchase is finished, whether it is fair or not. At the end of the day, however, I will always get paid. The goods he purchased are traveling by caravan south to Wolf's Cliff. I do not know whether they plan to stay there or head further to Isengard, but I do know that they will not make it. You will intercept them before they reach the camp. Head south and follow the road. When you find them, be quick about it. They are evil men and do not deserve any quarter. Bring back the goods you find there. Once this is done, there is only one more task I will require you to do before the boy will be considered free of his debt. So I'm trying to help repay the debt. That way, the boy doesn't have to be a freaking slave, right? That'll be good. Alright, so let's see, what am I doing? Let me head south. I still have to bring back some horses, as you can see. Three of them. So I'll try to get all this accomplished. Let me see. Yeah, there should be a horse around here somewhere. There's one. I think I have to physically ride them back, which is all right. Not that big of a deal. Let's see, where do I have to actually put them? Not sure. There's just a red circle around here. Maybe in that pen right here. Next to the stables. There we go. Excellent. That's one. Let me come up here and grab a couple more. So making some good progress here in the game, catching up, but there's still a lot of work to do and I'm thinking that after this season I'm going to have to do a lot of things before starting the next one in terms of going back and doing some content. And then there's the in their absence quest chain, which I think I'll be ready to do after this season, so I'll have to look into that and see if it's the right time for it. So there's lots of loose ends which I'm hoping to tie up before continuing on to the Gap of Rohan. But it might be a little too early to start talking about that. We still have plenty of content to do here in Dunland. Alright, need to bring one more horse. Let me grab the one up there somewhere. is the pit remember I thought I might have been able to do a few fights but uh, too strong look at those spectators I'll have to come back to that with a group all right final horse
Wondering if there will be another part to this quest. Alright, perfect. This is wonderful. Now that we have the horses, I can renew the stable's business. Is there anywhere you would like to go? Alright, so it looks like that was the end of that quest chain. Got some Lotro points there. Alright, let me see about repaying the debts. Okay, looks like there will be some enemies here, and these are going to be green, so I can't even avoid aggro on them. Let's just kill all three at once, huh? There we go. Let me take some of the goods here. Interesting horses. All right. Let me head back. Turn these in. So the auctioneer, a little bit interesting. He's an evil guy, obviously. He doesn't really put forth any objections to Saruman, but at the same time, we're kind of screwing over Saruman by taking the shipment. So in true selfish, selfish fashion, the auctioneer is really just watching out for himself. He doesn't really care who he's screwing over in the process. He just wants his money. Eh. I don't feel like using that corpse. Oh no, rubber band lag. What's going on? There we go. You are welcome here, as long as you do not trouble us. Very good. It appears that my goods have survived both the trip and battle in good condition. With these returned, I can now obtain profit that Saruman denied me. Let me see how this helmet looks. Weird. As long as the sun shines, you are welcome here. There's one last thing you must do for me, then I will consider Marbon's debt paid, and he will be free. If you fail me now, I will sell the boy off to the mines. To the south of Starkmoor is Wolf's Cleft. The armies of Dunland have been gathering and training there. I often sell them weapons, armors, and slaves for training practice. Lately, the sales have not been doing well and are slowing. You are going to fix that for me. There's a cliff to the south that overlooks Wolf's Cleft. Once there, I want you to do as much injury as possible. The more weapons and armor you destroy, the more I will sell to the warriors tomorrow. Speak with me when you're ready to go and I will show you the path. Make sure you do as much damage as possible. I have a fresh set of conscripts and weapons ready to sell. Of all the Ox Clan, I'm the most canny, for I know best how to create my own opportunities. A broken sword here, a shattered shield there, and a crippled arm to wield them. Men, arms and armor do not come cheaply. All right. Interesting. Let me go ahead and round up a lot of these. Because why not? 
Then let me head back to the archer. There's a captain, there's one of these. Perfect. That was the instance already? That is cool though. You can see the army preparing down there. Very interesting. Okay. So I'm ready to head out of here. Hopefully the debt can be repaid now. Oh, look at this. What is going on? Banner of the White Hand. This banner marked by the White Hand. It is clearly revenge for Misengard for the transgressions. So, yeah, I don't know what he expected attacking the White Hand like that behind their back. But they found out, apparently. Not good. The auctioneer's treachery of Isengard finally caught up with him. There's no sign of the merchant's son. That's not good either. Because we were trying to rescue the son, but things are not going well. You're welcome here, as long as you do not trouble us. You're looking for Maybon? I do not know where he went, but I have my suspicions. Hear me out, Duvulia, for I have a tale to tell. Maybon is not the first child to disappear from these lands. For the past several months, nearly one vanishes per week from Everdyne. Mostly orphans, they disappear in the night. Not but a few tracks heading to the southwest are ever seen. Those who have caught a glimpse to tell the horrible... Those who have caught glimpse tell of a horrible creature, an abomination of nature, striding across the plains with a bag over his shoulder, filled with lost children. If you wish to find the boy, you must venture to the swamps. Head southwest along the roads until you find Dunbog. They may know more of this abomination there. That is horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Some guy with a knapsack kidnapping kids. So it looks like we're actually ready to leave the Ox Clan village of Averdon and move forward to the next area. So let me actually put this on the tracker as well. We're going to be heading southwest into the marshes, Dunbog, and there should be plenty of quests to do there. Let's look at the map here. So yeah, we're going to be venturing in this region. Should be pretty fun, I think. I'm assuming the abomination of nature is... Somehow, one way or another, tied with Saruman, and I bet Saruman is stealing these children as labor. I would imagine, I don't know. I'm glad you're here. The Dunbog is just ahead. Do you see the scout up ahead? By the large rocky outcropping? I do not know to what clan she belongs. Go and see if she is friendly, Kippen. The people of Dunbog keep to themselves, and I know little of them. But if Saruman has paid for their loyalty, they are already our enemies. The scout stares at you warily, but does not attack. The Uchwairad requires us to give welcome to the Duvodiad. What do you want here? Even the Uchruth had need of help on occasion. We do not get many travelers down this road. Is there something that I can help you with? What could you possibly want down this way? The Avankluth do not take kindly to Duvodiad. There's a small band of us here, but we ask for naught. Nor do we need anything from you. If you insist, you may speak with Alun. He is heading a scouting party nearby. So there's some um, decent enemies here. Let me see something. Okay. I think we're set. Judging from the symbols that decorate their camp, these main are of the Avankluth clan. Bethan sent you here, did she? 
Interesting. I'm not certain that she was wise to do so, but we have not. We can hide here. The land is as open as far as you can see, and there's not anything to see. Why would you even want to come here? Perhaps you can prove that you would be a valuable ally for the Avankluth. Food and supplies are scarce here, as you can see. Maybe you can help us gather some things. Do not speak the names of evil things, for you will call them. Since you are so persistent, perhaps I can put you to some use. The elders have asked us to gather supplies while we are out here on the watch. I personally would rather be in a hut with my wife keeping warm. Do you think you can help me then? We need to collect shells from the beetles in the area. We use their shells for armor and cooking, and their meat is passable. But the shells are what we are looking for. Undamaged, of course. Bring them to me when you are done. Even the Ecluth have need of help on occasion. Since you seem to be doing Alun's labor, then you can help me as well. I am not certain what I did to upset the elders, but they always give me the worst tasks. They want me to gather food, which is what I'm accustomed to. But toad legs? Toads are disgusting creatures and make even worse food. Nevertheless, it is what they demand. If you are to be of help, go and hunt the toads and take their legs. Bring them back to me, and perhaps I will not think of you as a bog scum like you are. Alright, let's do one more here. Do not speak the names of evil things, for you will call them. Well, well, another devotee trying to please us. I'm tired of your kind coming into her bog thinking you can change the world with your mere presence. Well, it will not happen, but you can make my life easier and I will let you live. Fetch me bog reeds so I can string these bows. The reeds around here grow strong like us. They are better than any other material out there. You doubt me? One more word and I will... Never mind, go gather reeds. Alright, before I do all that, let me go speak with Nona one more time. And advance the epic storyline. These people are outliers, on the edge of great danger, but not given in to it. These people are like my own, Kippen. They are outliers on the edge of great danger, but they do not give in to it. And they resist as well as my people have done. We must help the Avanklu to stand against Saruman. Take a look at some of these. 132 agility. Mine are all still better. Help the people of Dunbog before meeting me in Karaglin. The people of Dunbog have been on the edge of the coming conflict for some time. Forgotten by all but their nearest neighbors. Did Saruman factor them into his calculations? We must help them resist him, Kippen. They remind me of my own people, estranged from other clans, and I do not want them to labor alone. Help them resist the wizard. When you are satisfied that you have done all you can for the people of Dunbog, Travel to Karaglin. I will meet you in Barnavon. For it seems to be a village of some importance, and Lou Brennan wanted to learn the status of the Mines of Iron. Okay. So again, she's vectoring me to another location, probably over here, it looks like. So for now, let me remove this from the tracker, and we will focus on helping the people of the Dunbog. So I need to kill some toads. Gather some bog reeds. Destroy some of the beetles and stuff like that. I guess I should focus on the main one. Gather up all these enemies. Get some reeds as well. Need more toad legs.
Really? That guy didn't... I guess I missed him. I need 15 bog reeds? That's a ton. Dang. I need two more shells and then a ton more reeds. But I'm done with the toads. I guess I'll pick some of this stuff. It doesn't matter. Find two more shells. Should be one up ahead, it looks like. Excellent. I'll take the backpack, why not? Then this should be my last bog beetle. I'll ambush him. Nice. Four more of these. Get out of here before that toad aggro is on me. Ready to turn all this in. Thought I saw something over there. I have not seen your kind before. Well done, Kippen. You have saved me a tremendous amount of time and effort doing work that I detest. Take this and go do your other task. These stores will not complete themselves. Impressive. This will make my time here go by much more quick. Thank you. Perhaps there is more for you to do. There's more f to you than it seems, Devotiad. My wife will be happy when I return home sooner than usual. Well, you're not completely useless like the others. I have come through that I have seen come through here. Still, my life is no better, and the elders will just send me out for more bowstrings tomorrow. Thank you for nothing, Hobbit. Now get out of here before I decide to stop being nice. Many foul things dwell in the shadows. I fear wolves will be the, the least of our troubles. You have done all that we have asked of you and even dealt with Nair's rudeness without complaint. I am impressed. Perhaps you can do the Dunbog some good, unlike the other Devodia that have passed through here. And I am now one step closer to returning to my wife. There will be few who will venture out of the doors with you around. Speak with Bane and perhaps he can help you gain some trust among the people of the Avonk. Lon Ross lies to the southwest of here. You cannot miss it, for there is not much else in that direction. Alright, so let's vector into the town. I saw it off in the distance before. I'm always cautious of these swamp villages over here. Swamp people are just kind of weird, aren't they? That's my opinion. I went to New Orleans once and I did like the swamp tour. And there were these people that had their houses like in the swamp. Like floating on the water. How bizarre. But anyways. Greetings. Will you remain here long? Stables are open. Wait a minute. Let me see something. I have not seen your okay. kind before. Just wanted to check something. So, the whole town is built on platforms because this town is on the water. The Ukwirad requires us to give welcome to Devodiad. 
What are you doing here? Alun sent you? He is too trusting these days. Strangers dance their way through our lands with no regard to the plight of my people. Nevertheless, I will trust him on this one. If you wish to help us, you must help our village. War has not touched these lands, but that does not mean that the weather and hardships of life avoid us. Why do we live here, you ask? The answer is not yours to have quite yet. For now, help us further and we will make sure your questions are answered in time. Get me out, Devodiad. I have a tale to tell. All of us need to eat. It is as simple as that. The Dumbog does not offer the most traditional food sources, but we think that is some of the best provender the best provender ever eaten. I become hungry just thinking about our delicacies. You may not really understand, and that is fine. I'm not asking you to eat it, just bring me some. What am I talking about? Slug meat, of course. Specifically tender baby slug meat. The taste is nothing short of amazing. There are slugs to the east of the village. The baby slugs are protected by the adults, so be careful. You do not want to be attacked by a group of angry slug matrons. The old woman of the mountain says we should not trust Devodiad. Greetings, you're new here, are you not? Well, that is wonderful. I love meeting new people, even if we do not meet many very often. Since Spain has you helping us, I have a chore for you. As you can see, we are a village of huts. Lots and lots of huts. Sadly, these huts should not stand up well, being half submerged in swamp water all day. They are in constant need of repair. And what better way to repair them than with mud? It patches holes and makes things new again. Can you bring us some mud balls? The beetles of the area here love to gather up the mud and roll them into neat little balls. I'm not sure why, but we use them to patch our huts. So, I don't know if this is supposed to be a joke because I don't know if you guys have heard of dung beetles. They'll basically poop and roll their poop up into little balls. And that's just what they do. So, maybe the developers are making a joke there that the people here are repairing their houses with beetle poop, for lack of better terms. Okay. I don't see any other quest rings for now, so I will head out and start doing some of the quests. I guess I'll just swim through here. Let me see, where am I going? Alright, baby slug meat. I'm gonna get some mud balls. See a quest ring over there. Dang, this guy's been busy killing killing stuff. The Tachnuts have been destroyed. I pray to the Uchwirad that we will not be next. Well met, Hobbit. I was just resting here for a moment after fighting these Avank. The trick to fighting Avank is to turn your ordinary fighting skills into extraordinary fighting skills. You could do it as well, if you would put your mind to it. It's not really all that hard. Now while I take a short nap, I need a favor. Go and tell Edhow. That I am well, but I need a new sword. My last one broke in the gullets of that large avonk over there. Do as I ask and I will be in your debt. Grab some more dung here. Oh, really? These are aggressive? There's a quest item. While fighting in the dumb bog, you come across this mud-covered object. It seems like a child's toy. Perhaps someone in Lon Ross will want it back. You should return to the village and find the owner of the toy. Alright. Need seven more of those. I feel like my character is running really slow. I don't know why. It just feels that way. I'm going to use a run boost. Why not? Let me go ahead and grab this guy too.
Okay. Let me grab a few more of these. I need four. And then three. One more ought to do it. Need to find more baby slugs too. Oh, wait a minute. I already have all the slug meat I need. I thought I still needed more, but I guess not. So time to go turn all this in actually. Ah, I was hoping not to get dismounted there. All right. Who are you? Wait, you have found my toy? Thank you, thank you, man. Have it, please. I did not think I would ever find it. Did the nasty beetles take it? They always steal other things. I hate them. I have not seen your kind before. Well done, Devodia. Baby slugs are difficult to hunt. The mothers seem to be able to communicate well with their young. Thank you. We will enjoy this during the next feast. You are well on your way to proving that you are not just another intrusive Devodia. A true gatherer. Impressive. Usually the beetles put up more of a fight for these. I'm not sure why they want them, but they guard them jealously. Thank you for gathering these. Perhaps you will stay for a while so we could learn more about the world beyond the Dunbog. We do not often have the opportunity to talk to Devodiad. Gwen sent you? Tell him that he has taken quite enough swords for me already. I'm usually quite pleasant, but Gwen is always out in the bog trying to kill the biggest monster he can find to prove that he is the best hunter. Let us see how he survives without the best swords. Perhaps then I will be impressed. Tell him that if he really wants to be the best hunter, he will survive with his own two hands for once. You deliver that message for me, and hopefully I will have one less problem on my hands. Alright. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to continue helping the people here in the bog. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.